This is the luxury world. It inspired with us today and tomorrow. When contemplating the purchase of a Rolex watch, numerous aspects should be considered. These encompass the prestige and social standing associated with owning such a luxurious timepiece, as well as the potential costs associated with repairs or replacements. The decision to acquire a Rolex is a personal one. Nevertheless, to arrive at a well-informed choice aligned with your circumstances and financial considerations, it is essential to carefully assess these factors before arriving at a decision. Here is where a Rolex authorized dealer or Rolex Sadie can be a major help for us, especially for those starters in watch collecting journey. Rolex is a prestigious Swiss watchmaker known for its high quality and luxurious timepieces. To become an authorized dealer, a business must meet certain criteria set by Rolex, including having a powerful reputation for quality and customer service. Rolex authorized dealers typically offer a range of Rolex watch models, including popular lines like the Rolex Submariner, Rolex Datejust, Rolex Date8, and more. They also provide after-sales services, such as maintenance, repairs, and warranty support for Rolex watches. If you are interested in purchasing a Rolex watch or seeking services for your Rolex watch, it is recommended to visit an authorized dealer to ensure you are dealing with a reputable source and to have access to genuine Rolex products and expertise. In today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will share with you an insight from the Rolex AD, and we will assess the situation by understanding how the Rolex AD works. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, we encourage you to do so now to stay informed about our future videos. For today's topic, we are going to feature a highly charged interview with an employee working at an NXT leather authorized establishment. This individual reached out to vent their grievances and share their deep frustration regarding their work and superiors. They are said to reveal some astonishing insights into the inner workings of the company, shedding light on matters that are typically hidden from the public eye and rarely disclosed to regular employees like us. For obvious reasons, we cannot disclose the specific authorized dealer in question. However, the important thing is that we are here to share the frustrations expressed by the employee who has requested us to convey their concerns through this platform. To address this matter straightforwardly, we will read the crucial paragraphs verbatim for your consideration. The employee begins by stating, there seems to be a clear absence of diversity within the management team, resulting in the promotion of certain colleagues primarily because they fit a specific category. The employee admits it is not entirely sure what this entails, but it does not appear to promote inclusivity. When presented with the alternative of promoting industrious colleagues with significantly more experience, the employee raises a valid concern. They acknowledge the value of working for a company that prioritizes its employees and offers opportunities for advancement. However, they observe that the promotion of less deserving colleagues persists, leading to their next point, a troublingly high staff turnover rate. According to the employee, the company used to be known for investing in its staff, yet they now struggle to maintain even the minimum staff count necessary to operate the showroom efficiently. What is particularly worrisome is that a general manager was appointed during a period marked by substantial staff turnover. They describe several undesirable traits exhibited within the management team, including manipulative behavior and excessive micromanagement. Additionally, the employee raises concerns about certain colleagues not being accountable due to their close ties with management. Some unresolved allegations, including those related to bribery among general managers and colleagues, have created an uncomfortable atmosphere. Furthermore, the distribution of gift cards within the showroom has raised eyebrows, as they are distributed excessively. The employee's next point pertains to salaries, highlighting a significant issue. They assert that the current salary structure no longer accurately reflects the state of the business. Colleagues are required to engage in a minimal number of activities as a form of superficial compliance, and they are pushed to aggressively upsell services or products to clients. The employee then expresses dissatisfaction with their current salary, suggesting that they might be better off working in a supermarket rather than in a micromanaged environment that fails to appreciate its staff. They find benefits such as commission to be utterly pointless, particularly since the introduction of a new structure that seems inattainable due to the reduced sales of Rolex and Potic Philip watches. This situation effectively results in employees working for their basic salaries. Moreover, the employee mentions that the industry has evolved and competitors are offering far more attractive salary packages, making it challenging for their company to retain talent. The employee goes on to address the issue of inadequate support within the company. They claim that staff members do not receive the necessary support and are frequently informed that management is unavailable to assist them. 
This lack of support has become apparent with the gradual reduction of business resources allocated to their showroom, and the employee believes that this is just the initial phase. They predict that Rolex and other partners may also follow suit in scaling back their support. In this challenging environment, the employee notes that the teams are burdened with excessive workloads and are not compensated adequately for their efforts, further emphasizing the strain on employees. The employee provides a striking example of frustration within the company by sharing an incident that occurred the previous week. They recount how a Rolex colleague followed a similar course of action, accessing the safe, selling a significant quantity of Rolex products to the same client, and promptly resigning afterward. This event underscores the level of dissatisfaction that some employees, including those who have dedicated years to the company, have reached. The employee expresses that despite their long-term commitment, they feel that they receive little in return, particularly due to a deficient commission system. They emphasize that commission is only earned based on what they sell, and any showroom targets are adjusted upward deliberately to avoid paying higher commissions. The employee also mentions that they attempted to allow the company to investigate these concerns internally before going public, but their concerns went unaddressed. It is important to recognize that the information provided represents one perspective, and it cannot be personally guaranteed or independently verified as an accurate reflection of the situation. However, there does seem to be a recurring pattern and theme in the concerns expressed by authorized dealer employees. Many employees have privately shared similar concerns, and the claim of bribery is a recurring issue in recent years. While these actions may not be the fault of the authorized dealer or the company itself, they do raise questions about whether Rolex is taking sufficient measures to address and prevent such misconduct within its authorized dealer network. Ensuring that their stock is sold and distributed fairly to the average customer is a significant concern, and any company must maintain the integrity of its brand and reputation. Ultimately, addressing these concerns and maintaining a transparent and ethical business environment is essential for any luxury brand like Rolex to uphold its reputation and the trust of its customers. We can say that this is not the situation for all Rolex AD, but as many employees are sharing their kind of experiences, we still must consider their valid feelings and sentiment. Now, what could this tell us as a customer of Rolex AD? Some customers report feeling pressure from sales associates to purchase additional accessories or services when buying a Rolex from an AD. This can make the buying experience less comfortable for some individuals. Rolex watches typically hold their value well, but the initial premium paid at an authorized dealer may not be fully reflected in the watch's resale value. If you plan to resell the watch in the future, you may not recoup the full purchase price. There is a tendency to get a Rolex watch from the AD with a manipulated price. Despite these potential drawbacks, many people still prefer to buy Rolex watches from authorized dealers for the peace of mind, authenticity, and warranty that come with such purchases. However, it is essential to weigh these factors against your specific needs and budget when deciding where to buy a Rolex. What are your thoughts on the topic we shared in this video? We would love to see your comments and opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you let us know by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up. Do not forget to follow our channel for more content. Thank you for watching The Luxury World, and we look forward to having you join us in our upcoming videos.